Hello guys, welcome back to DC1 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for DC1 Engineering videos. Today our topic is about the difference uh, between the bending and the buckling. So I will define and explain the difference between these two terms in detail. So first of all to define the bending. Bending can be defined as that bending it is the it is the state it is the state of a stress. It is the state of a stress. When stress occurs in a member, so we call some bending will be there in this member. While buckling, the buckling is, can be defined as that it is the, it is the state of instability. I will explain in detail now that what is the major difference between these two terms. So bending, it is related to the state of a stress in a member, while buckling is related to the state of the instability in a structural member. For example, if I consider this is any beam here, and this is the front view of this beam, and it's supported by, let's say it's supported by the hinge and roller support at the two ends. So when the concentrated load acts on this beam, right? This is suppose this is in a concentrated load of P, acts perpendicular to the axis of this beam. Like, let's suppose these are the axis of this beam and when this load x perpendicular to the axis of the beam making a 90 degree angle to with the surface so we can say that now this beam will show bending and we say that there are some stresses created in this member which are known as the bending stresses. So bending is the state of a stress in a structural member. This beam will bend like that and there will be stresses which we call is the bending stresses. So when the stresses creates in a member, when the beam is in state of the stresses, so we call is the bending now. So when the load acts perpendicular to this x, the uh, axis of the beam, so we can say that now bending will occur. While in case of the buckling, the buckling is different from that of the bending. In case of the buckling, Let's suppose that these are the axis of this column. This is any column I consider. These are the axis of the column. And when the load is acting along the axis of this column, right? Not perpendicular to this column. While this, in the case of the beam, you can see that the load was acting perpendicular to the axis of the beam. While here in case of the column, the load is acting parallel to the axis of the column. So in this case, the column will not bend, but it will produce instability. So that's why we call that now the column is in case is in the state of the instability. So buckling can be defined as that it is the state of the instability and due to this load when it's along the axis of the column, this uh, column will buckle like this way, right? Will buckle like this way. So we can say that it is now buckled. And when this load is greater than the P critical, which is the critical load, the maximum load which a column can bear, a slender column can bear. While when the load is acting is greater than the P critical, so the column will start buckling and, and we say that now the column has been buckled. And this is the state of the instability in a structure member. The buckling is the state of instability. There is no such bending stresses creates uh, due to this load. But we say that the uh, instability creates and due to this instability, the eccentricity moments will be created and more moments will be created. So this was the major difference between the bending and buckling. That in case of the bending, the load always acts perpendicular to the axis, while in case of the uh, buckling, the load always acts parallel to the axis of the structure member. And bending mostly occurs in the flexure member or the bending member, like the beams and slabs, while the bending buckling are mostly commonly occur in the case of the columns. And you should must design the column because when the P exceeds the P critical load, so your structure will going to collapse and there is a brittle behavior, catastrophic behavior of the column. So you should must design the column well so that to achieve the ductile behavior. Hope you guys understand the difference between the bending and buckling. Here, there, this was our today lecture. And don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.